Half face and full face respirators are covered in other videos linked in the description. Let's review how to inspect, put on, and seal check a filtering face piece. Hair follicles may compromise the seal of an elastomeric respirator or filtering face piece, rendering the respirator ineffective. Please refer to the CDC NIOSH Facial Hairstyles and Filtering Face Piece Respirators chart linked in the description for guidance. First, thoroughly inspect the filtering face piece. There should be no tears or visible damage to the face piece body. The shape should be intact and not warped. The strap should be elastic and should not break or pull off the face piece body when you tug on them. The nose clip should be securely fastened to the face piece body. Next, with the filtering face piece face down in your cupped hand with the straps hanging down, place it over your nose and mouth with the nose clip over the bridge of your nose. Grab the top strap and pull it over your head, positioning it at the top part of the back of your head. The next part can be tricky. Grab the bottom strap and pull it over your head, positioning it at the back of your head near your neck, under your hair. Press and pinch the nose clip so it conforms to the shape of the bridge of your nose. Feel the edges of the face piece to ensure they are in complete contact with your skin. Now it's time to perform a user seal check, which is critical to ensure the filtering face piece is fitting you properly and adequately protecting you. Cup your hands over the filtering face piece body. Thoroughly but gently cover it. Don't press down. Sharply exhale and inhale several times. You should feel and or sense no leaks. Make any adjustments if you feel leaks and repeat the test. If you cannot get the filtering face piece to fit you without leaking, try another one. If it doesn't fit you without leaks, you may need a different type of filtering face piece. In this case, don't proceed with your work until you talk to your supervisor and or EHS. Note that you are required to obtain medical clearance, complete specific training, and get fit tested before wearing a filtering face piece respirator such as an N95 respirator. However, if you are voluntarily wearing such a respirator as a personal preference, you do not need to take these steps, but are instead required to take the Harvard Training Portal course on respiratory protection for voluntary users. If you have any questions regarding respirator usage, please contact Harvard University's Environmental Health and Safety Office. Thank you.